Once you've created a collection that you would like to save and use over and over with your clients in a design consultation, move up to the pin icon and click Save to Collections. You'll have a dialog box that will allow you to name that collection. And you can choose which group you would like to save that collection in. For example, you might have a group that says metal, canvas, and acrylic collections, and then a different collection that are frame print collections. Under the Orders tab, with Pricing Setup, you can define the names of these groups. Next, we'll enter the price of that collection. This is the retail price that you will be charging your clients. There's no need to put in a dollar sign, pound sign, euro sign, etc., as that's defined also in your product pricing setup. Additionally, you can put in the display order, the order in which it will be displayed in your quick design picker. Once we save the collection, you'll find it up here in the top left or whichever order you have placed the collection in. Now, when I apply that collection and choose to add that to a client order, when we choose the drop down and choose this specific room, we'll see that the price has been auto populated by the price that I've entered for that collection. And that's how you create and save a collection. When applying a design collection for your clients, you have two choices. The first choice is to click on the layout buttons and choose from your pre-made collections with empty boxes. You can then drag the photos you would like to place in those boxes and create that collection for your client. Additionally, you can simply drag photos onto the room I know I have five photos here, click my layouts and choose the collection I would like to place those photos in. You'll notice that I have five photos and it fills every box that has five photos. But for example, this collection only has three canvases, so it will leave one out automatically. And that's how you apply a collection. Saving a composite works just like saving a collection of images. Under the pin icon, choose Save to Composites. The difference being, Save to Collections will save out multiple canvases. Save to Composites will save out the canvas plus multiple images on one canvas, print, etc. You can actually do a composite plus two other photos next to it on separate canvases and it will save the entire layout, including the layouts within this canvas. Name the composite. Choose where you would like to save that composite. Put in the pricing for that composite and then the display order. Once you save that composite, it will then show where you've saved that composite right here after the fourth image. We can apply that composite. And after we apply that composite, choose the gallery and the room. It will automatically display the price connected to that composite. To apply a composite, you must always add the photos to the room and then apply the composite so that Fundy Designer can detect the layout with the number of photos available and create the correct layout. I've added my four photos to the wall in random order. Click on layouts and I'll go to my composite section and choose the layout I would like. Fundy Designer drop zones due to its automatic nature, does not save 
your exact image ratios on the photos. So you may need to double click on that canvas and choose the correct ratios for your photos to get the exact layout that you would like. After you've applied the exact layout, your clients will see the proper layout that you've given them. Additionally, remember that layouts can be changed at any time. It's very easy to swap photos within a composite. Additionally, you can take photos from below and swap them out in a composite just as you can a layout with multiple canvases. One of the features of Fundy Designer due to drop zone technology is that you can actually remove a photo and create a composite on the fly. This can be useful when you have a client that can't make a decision. Not only can you remove photos, but you can add photos in between other photos, just like you would in Album Builder. Now, if you want all of the photos on the right side to have the same ratio box, remember you can hold the shift key and choose your ratio and it will affect all images in a certain row. Thank you.